Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna be doing an everyday fall makeup tutorial. I often do trying new makeup and I'm testing out a ton of new products and doing intricate looks, but really in my daily life I do wear much more subdued makeup and I wanna demo my everyday routine with a little bit of that fall vibe sprinkled in. I am gonna be using some of the most viral products from e.l.f. Cosmetics today, so thank you to e.l.f. for sponsoring this video. And then I'll throw in some other products that I love. So we'll have a good mix of drugstore and high end. So as always, I will have everything I use today linked in my description box. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into my everyday fall makeup. So I'm gonna be using some of the most viral products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. e.l.f. is obviously very affordable, very accessible, and they are also 100% vegan and cruelty-free worldwide. So I'm gonna start off with some skin prep, and I'm gonna be using the Vitamin C Serum. Now this retails for $16, and this has over 13 million views. This is packed with antioxidants, and it's supposed to brighten an even skin tone over time. You know, I really need that evening of the skin tone. So I'm just going to pat this in the skin before I go in with eyeshadow, just so this can really sink in while I do my makeup. So I've got you zoomed in and I wanna start on an eye look and I'm gonna be using none other than the e.l.f. Bite Size Palettes. These are $3, they have over 10 million views. Everybody has talked about these because they're just such high quality for such an affordable price. So you have a mixture of shimmers and mattes. This palette is all matte, so they have a bunch of different colors. I'm gonna start off with the I Love You A Latte palette. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here in the palette, which is a little bit more neutral cool. And I wanna use this to give me a little bit of depth in the crease. The price point on these palettes is honestly mind-blowing. And they're so easy for travel too. So honestly, I'm not shocked that these went crazy viral. So to add a little bit of that fall twist, I often will use like a purple or a deep maroon matte shade to do a wing. So I'm gonna use this shade in the Rosewater palette. It's like a deep plum purple with a little bit of shimmer and I'm gonna do a smoky wing. So I start by just sort of stamping on the outer corner and then I just sort of pull out softly. Now I do tend to like a pretty you know, intense wing, but for every day, I could go either way. Honestly, most of the time my wings end up intense just because I mess up and I just keep perfecting it, so. So once I've done a general shape, I'll go in with a more precise brush just to sharpen it up, but of course, I'm gonna clean it up because you can see that's not, you know, precise. So I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and sometimes this takes me a couple times and I'm just gonna clean up and sharpen the outer edge and then just keep perfecting it. So I'm just going back in and building, but essentially I feel like I'm pretty happy with that once I clean up underneath. It's, you know, great for every day and that took me, what, a minute? So it's very quick. So now I wanna go in with mascara. I'm gonna be using my Byredo mascara that I mentioned in my favorites. This is a more pricey mascara but I really like the volume I get at the base of my lash. It's more of a dry formula. So hopefully you can see just how much volume that gives me at the root of my lash. I'm going in with my Lily Lashes Triple X, another one of my favorites, to sort of plump up the ends of my lashes. You know, I'm just working with what I got and I usually, you know, like to do falsies on camera, but for every day I'm definitely not doing falsies. For primer, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is $10, and this has over 18 million views. So this is a gel formula that really grips on to your makeup. So you will see when I demo this, you apply this and it smooths your skin, but then it gives you this tack. Like, I don't know if you can hear or see, and it will literally like grip on to your foundation. So it's one of those that really helps with longevity of your makeup. 
which, you know, I'm all about. So you can see like the tack. It's definitely the most gripping primer that I've ever tried. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Camo CC Cream. Now this retails for $15. This went crazy viral, over 11 million views. And this is an interesting product because it has SPF 30 in it. It also gives you full coverage, but it has a natural finish. So it's one of those you could use every day and sheer out, or you could really take it to full glam. I know so many people love this product. So I have the shade Light 210N comes in a pump. So I'm just gonna pump a couple pumps out and I'm gonna use a sponge to apply this. You can use a brush, but you can see like immediately the coverage. So this CC cream actually works for my combo skin. I do get a little bit oily throughout the day, but it wears really well. A lot of CC creams are usually very heavy. They're going to enhance my texture, transfer, and this one doesn't. It really is more of a natural finish, and it doesn't feel heavy. And you can see I have a nice, you know, natural finish, but it's not greasy looking like it's going to slip right off. So for concealer, I'm going to be using my LYS Beauty Triple Fix. This is just one of my favorite go-tos for every day. Because it's hydrating, it gives me a good coverage, but it's not super heavy and it blends super easily. So I'm just going to blend this out. I mean, literally look how fast that blends out. It's one of my favorite everyday options. To set the center of my face, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Fair. Just wanna make sure I get all the creasing out first. And then I'm just gonna press this in and pull it down. This shade is pretty brightening on me, so I'm just gonna use it in the T-zone. And then I'm just taking some of my Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. This is in the shade 260 to set the other areas of my face and just sort of blend everything. So to bronze up the skin, I'm gonna be using the Elephant Palette from Hourglass. This is one of their new holiday launches and I'm gonna go into this bronzer shade. I do tend to like the Hourglass powders more for every day rather than like a you know heavy glam look. And I also do like to just take bronzer over my nose. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the highlighter in the Hourglass palette. I'm not gonna do too much just because I don't wear as much highlighter recently. I just want like a little tiny bit of glow. I'm gonna jump back in to the e.l.f. Bite Size in Rosewater and I wanna use this really light shade. It's like a really pretty pink. I just want to put that in the inner corner. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of this shimmer shade right here. And I just want to put a little bit on the lower lash line connecting to that wing. I'm going to grab a little bit of that original shade that I used. And I just want to smoke this on the lower lash line. Now for one of my favorite parts of my makeup, we're gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Blush. These went incredibly viral, over 16 million views. These retail for $7 and they have so many gorgeous shades. So this blush is super easy to work with. It has a putty to powder formula and I find that it goes over my powder flawlessly, which is really important to me. It also is quite buildable. So it's not a formula you have to be careful with. You can really build up the color. So I'm gonna start off with a lighter shade I've used many times before which is Turks and Caicos. I kind of want to add Caribbean on top, so we'll see if I'm brave enough. But I'm just going to use my sponge and really get in there and grab the product. This is, again, a very buildable formula, so you don't have to be careful. And I'm just stippling on the back of my hand just to make sure I don't have too much product. And I'm going to start building. So you can see it's a very light layer. You don't have to be afraid to build these up. So that's why I feel like they're pretty beginner friendly. So I'm just gonna start off with this shade and then I wanna go into 
the deeper shade because I really want to play up my lips and my cheeks for this look. So next I wanna go into this newer shade called Caribbean. You can see it's definitely more pigmented. So I'm going to really make sure that I tap off on my hand. Woo, girl, that's gorgeous. Yes, please. So I'm not even gonna dip back in. I'm just going to blend. And I'm even gonna take some around my nose. And if you feel like you used a little bit too much, you can just use any puff you have and just sort of go over to blend everything. So for lips, I'm gonna line with my ABH lip liner in sandstone. And then for lipstick, I did pick up the trio of the Jaclyn Cosmetics Lip Lacquers. These are really pigmented and high shine. They are sticky, but I don't mind that. So I'm gonna use the shade Pinched. This is the deepest one. I think I'm actually gonna go back into the e.l.f. palette and I'm just gonna go over that pink with this neutral matte. And then I am gonna also take some of that warm shade in the e.l.f. palette. I just wanna add a little bit of warmth in to go with the cheeks and the lip. Yeah, I like that. And then I do also wanna add some freckles. I just tend to like freckles when I do more natural looks. I'm just using my freck pen and I'm just gonna apply some and then just sort of blend it out. All right guys, so here's my finished everyday fall makeup look. I really leaned into a very flushed cheek with the vampy lip and then really grungy smoky eyes. I do feel a little bit weird without my lashes on camera, but most days, I don't wear lashes, so this truly is like an everyday type of look for me. So I hope this video gave you a little bit of fall makeup inspiration. Definitely check out e.l.f. I will have them linked down below. You don't have to break the bank to have amazing products, and e.l.f. really is a testament to that. So I will have links to everything in my description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.